It's catching on. Everybody's Can I say something real fast? I was at a I was at a Christmas party on Saturday night and uh, some people came up and they said, "My favorite thing of the morning is the six at six. Like that, that, I mean, nice? I don't know yeah, where. Nice, just yeah. catchy. Uh, it's like they were fans and they, you know, they yeah. like the six at six every there morning. There we go. Right. You can um, see how excited Alyssa is I'm, to be yeah. part of it. She's just I'm beaming. I'm all sleepy. I'm yeah. very yeah. awake. I'm very wow, excited about yeah. it. Well, let's get to right. it. Here's number six, the hottest new downtown dining spot. It might be at your nearest suburban mall. There Lots of hip, fine dining restaurants are setting up shop in the suburbs. Restaurant owners want to attract lots of new customers, especially those who don't want to deal with traffic or pay to park. What they are finding is people are willing to pay extra for a delicious meal and a fun dining experience, mm. no matter where the restaurant is. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Traffic is a... You're like, yeah, this is right here. Right. Right. I'll tell it's you, fine. You, yeah. you can't beat a good mall food court. You know yeah. this. <laughs> it's <laughs> true. You know, you get some orange chicken. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, get, uh, you get a sampler. Yeah. You get some Sparrow's pizza. Oh, oh, come let's on. go around, just some do some samplers. Meatballs. Yeah. Uh, number five, uh, you might not think you need your own personal <laughs> gaming cockpit, but check this out. Come on, Dan. It's designed to give you the most immersive gaming experience, all in the comfort of your uh, own home. You don't, you don't think Amy walking into a room and seeing you using one of these would go over uh, well? Is that what you're saying? I, it's a digital cocoon. It keeps right. you from the outside distractions, like your wife and kid <laughs> um, or pets. The uh, Master Orb X can hold a 34-inch monitor and can be connected to multiple gaming outlets. Uh, the one problem is just a, yeah, it's a slight problem, and nothing you can't overcome. Uh, it weighs more than 700 pounds, mm -hmm. so moving it from uh, room to room. But that's why you have that Just one. The, kids, yeah, you know? exactly. You can order it online beginning next year, so I guess ah, it's not darn. available next. Yeah. Not big yeah. on the gaming, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna no, see huh? myself. That's not for no, you. Not, yeah. you know. Okay. Uh, number four, once that snow starts falling, the temperatures start dropping and you might find yourself feeling lonely and looking for company. Whatever you do, don't reach out to your ex. I think that's a common rule. And if they call, don't answer. Hmm. You don't want to get winter coated. That. That's what the kids are calling okay. it, winter coated. That's an old lover coming back into your life to warm you up during the coldest season of the year. How you doing? Hey, and once spring comes, they'll toss you like an old jacket. I've never heard of that. No, huh. not know that. Why are we <laughs> telling people what to do? Uh, Some right. people just want to, <laughs> you know, it. they want, want their to embrace coat. the familiar. They like Listen, a if you're warm too, coat. If you're too, yeah, if you're two consenting adults, there's yeah. nothing wrong yeah. with a warm cares. coat. Get that and then you coat. toss each other out That's during right. spring. That's yeah. right. Do what Who you cares? want. Number three, anyone remember soap shoes? Soap was the brand's name. Uh, the shoes came out in 1997, had a special ground plate embedded in the sole that was made for sliding, which was an aggressive form of inline skating. Wow. Uh, the soap company was eventually sold, became part of the oh. Healing Sports Limited brand. Oh, so you could slide down railings. Mm. There you go, Rob. Oh, I see there. You right I remember there. those. Do you? Yeah. Okay. I didn't have them, my brother had them. Okay. Ah. Yeah, for the skater kids. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Did he break uh, a hip or anything? He broke some stuff. He at some sure did. Point, yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh, did he so. break a hip? Was your, <laughs> was your, was your brother 62? He was a teenager at the time. So. Was he, there he, a 60 <laughs> year age gap you could between still break you and that brother of yours? I'm just saying. It's dangerous. Does he have bone spurs? <laughs> <laughs> Number two, let's talk about hummingbirds. They're the only birds that can fly backwards. No but wait, kidding. there's more. Some people believe hummingbirds are also a symbol that challenging times are over and healing can begin. Others believe they have a spiritual significance. That means the spirit of a loved one is yes. here when they see a hummingbird. Yes, there's Aunt Rosie right there. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a bird, but... Hi, Grandma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, number one, breaking style news. Uh, Paul is not here, so I'll take yep. over his, his beat today. Blue eyeshadow is A-T-M, a total mood. <laughs> it's here, and I'm gonna tell you something. Now is the time to embrace it. Uh, hello, have you seen my girl Taylor on the Midnight Album? Uh, it's fresh, 
It's modern, and if you want to get noticed, you strut into 2023 with a bold splash of aquamarine on those eyes, or some stunning cobalt liner. Maybe a hint of sky blue on the top lid. If you've been paying attention, uh, Paul has been sharing some of these looks on uh, his Snapchat, and if you're looking for him, He's Styleboy53. <laughs> That's style with three small K's, yep. all silent, of course. Mm -hmm. And 53, I'm not going to tell you where those K's are in the world style either. That's for you to figure out. And 53, the number, but you got to spell it out. Even when he's right. 53, is not the number. You got to spell out 53, too. It's a long handle, but it's worth finding. Yeah. Uh, you know, Paul is here for you, it even is. when he's not here it for is. you, which will it's be uh, multiple times in the remaining days of yep. December. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Patrick. That's the six and six. Yeah.